Victoria Distillers is right on the water. It's a beautiful location. We draw a lot of inspiration from Victoria. It's an amazing city, and that's what brought us to the Empress Hotel. They're an icon in Victoria, and that really inspired us to create something iconic. It's a collaboration of Victoria Distillers and the Empress team putting together quite a few different ideas that sort of combined and created this wonderful effect. We were inspired by the hotel and we wanted to make a gin that was traditional at its core with a bit of a modern twist because that really reflects what the Empress is. The Empress is famous for its afternoon tea, so when we started developing the recipe for the gin, we started drawing on that afternoon tea experience to inform the botanicals. We've got some nice strong juniper notes, citrus and floral. We wanted some contemporary elements as well, so we've got the ginger in there. We infused the teas post-distillation to maintain their nice earthy flavors. The color of the gin is coming from a flower called the butterfly pea blossom. We're adding that to the gin after the distillation. It gets that beautiful indigo color. We almost threw out the whole project. We're like, who's going to buy a crazy blue gin? Grant, the owner, comes in and we show it to him pretty much for the first time. And he just ran with it. The thing that people don't understand a lot of times about spirits is how much actually goes into the process. Between choosing the botanicals and refining the recipe, there's a lot of work. And for us, you know, consistency is super important. We've always been a gin distillery. We launched our first gin over 10 years ago, and that was actually the first premium gin in Canada. Gin has really been our passion. We definitely designed it to be a gin and tonic gin. So lots of those bold juniper notes. Uh, one really unique citrus note is grapefruit citrus. They're bold flavors, but when they all come together, it's a really smooth product. My hallmark for a great gin is it ticks three boxes. Is it good in a martini, classic martini? Is it good in a gin and tonic? And is it good for bespoke off-the-cuff cocktails? And 1908 does all of those flawlessly, without effort. It's not a gimmick, it's pure elegance on a back bar. The bottle stands out, uh, it's a talking point. The color changing is just beautiful. You change the pH and it goes pink, adding a little bit of acid, very cool. And it just blows people's minds, it's fun to watch. You sort of knew, you knew that it, it had the wheels to go, for sure. We're just in the beginning phases of this Empress adventure. 